Well, this is a so this is a, a 90 odd hectare property uh, nestled on in the inland slopes of, uh, of central north central Victoria, uh, mainly woodland um, vegetation communities. So we have uh, grassy woodlands and heathy woodland vegetation communities here. Um, the species associated with that have had a really hard time uh, in Victoria. Uh, there's a whole suite of woodland birds that are declining throughout the landscape and uh, quite a lot of those exist on this reserve like brown tree creeper, diamond firetail, hooded robin, black chinned honey eater, those kind of birds. It's possible this is swift parrot country here. Um, the area just to the east of us is a large uh, reserve, a nature conservation reserve and it's known to be one of the best swift parrot observation sites this time of the year anywhere in Victoria um, and we believe that this part of the world which is not very far away is similar. There's also uh, really 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 big trees on this reserve. It's very uncommon to still get them in, uh, in remnants like this and we do think there's going to be some interesting species that we're going to find when we really closely examine those, those trees and, and do some proper monitoring. There are about eight um, orchid species exist in this reserve, three of which are uh, nationally endangered. So it's very exciting to start working with those and to start working with the orchid experts and trying to increase their population and really look after them properly. It's, it's, well, it's in the broad box ironbark region, but it's actually a much more complex picture than that. Um, it has ridge lines with heathy stringy bark country, and it also has gullies with grassy woodland, and it has a little pocket of granite with grassy woodland on it as well. Um, and box ironbark forest is present in places as well. So it's quite a rich mixture of habitat types and also different growth forms, large big trees and smaller regrowth and a mixture of understory species in very, very good condition. We generally in Victoria, we have a system of scoring uh, out of 100 points, the condition of a particular uh, a piece of bush and this block would easily score in the low 80s. So in, in the general scheme of things, it's extremely rare to find remnant bushland in such good condition. So that is one of the main features and um, with that comes the, uh, the uh, the density of particularly really large trees with good, good hollows and good habitat for threatened species. We're working very closely with uh, local conservation management network and uh, Parks Victoria, uh, local councils, the CMA and other groups through the, the CMN. And uh, we've been particularly playing a role with uh, helping them with strategic planning, trying to figure out the long-term direction of the conservation agenda in this area, but also most particularly our ability to purchase properties and to act decisively and practically in protecting um, private bushland areas of significance like this is, is a key role that we can play now and into the future. In an area where there is uh, not much uh, land in the National Reserve System, it also actually links up uh, some other remnants that are uh, very important and it starts to become a part of a general biolink through central Victoria which enables threatened species like the birds, the woodland birds I mentioned before, to move more freely through the landscape, exchange genetic material and become more viable. So the goal is we have a vibrant ecosystem working here and all the threatened species that do exist here. Um, uh, the goal is that in 20, 30 years from now, those species will still be around. They wouldn't have dropped out any further our landscape, but better than that, They'll actually be thriving here and they'll be breeding and, and, uh, and the, plant, the threatened plants will be uh, having uh, more than one population, more than just a few individuals, but they'll be thriving and existing all over the place. We've done some national assessment and prioritisation of properties and uh, this particular part of the world is an area that the board has decided um, uh, they want to focus in and within that this is um, a particularly special area that has a large amount of bushland still left unprotected which is quite rare in central Victoria so there's a big aggregation of unprotected private bushland here and this is a part of it and uh, we're keen to sort of to be a major contributor here in protecting as much as possible.